I'd like to read a poem by our dear and much missed friend Guy Gallo. Guy and I used to spend hours, nights, talking about music, about poetry, until the sun came up. And in one of these conversations, he revealed that he'd always wanted to play the violin. When I asked why this hadn't happened, he told what seemed to me a terrible story. As a child, he'd asked for a violin to play. And when a case was handed to him, inside wasn't a beautiful wooden instrument, but a ghastly plastic fiddle. From that point onwards, he never thought of touching one. Now I happen to have with me the 1734 Abenex Stradivarius, an instrument filled with history, from Francois Antoine Abenex himself, famous for beginning the great tradition of playing Beethoven in France, famous and even infamous for his relationship with Berlioz, for whom he directed a number of orchestral premieres from this instrument. And in the 20th century, this has been the instrument played by the greatest of English violinists, Ralph Holmes, who it was my good fortune to study with until he died in 1984 when I was 17. So I first met this instrument when I was 12. And for a few years, I played it. And I said to Guy, would you like to play? His poem documents what happened next. On Playing the Habenex Stradivarius by Guy Gallo, New York, October 2000. I was not prepared. I expected terror, lineage bearing down to cramp my hand. Yes, I dropped it over and over for a second, imagined splinters about my feet. I didn't clutch. It wouldn't let me. Then it was there, lodged on collarbone and so light as if Berlioz's ghost had taken some fraction of the weight. How long, I wondered, since this tender conglomeration of wood and physics had suffered so rank a beginner. Surely there was once a child, or a fat aristocrat, or an awkward curator. And now there was me. I played so badly, and still it thrilled even to my touch, inviting amused, clear-toned, smilingly unforgiving. <laughs>